We have a local festival that's in our area in Pierce County. It's a fun festival that promotes um, the daffodil um, bulb business. And it's been around for a long time. And I was selected from my high school as a daffodil princess. And Georgianne was a representative from her high school, and that's how we met. We did a lot of really cool stuff. We went down to Olympia, our capital, and we met the governor and his wife. We went on the USS Missouri, where they signed the World War II Peace Treaty. We also went to Seattle. We went to Space Needle, had lunch. This friendship really blossomed because we were together a lot. And from there, we lived together at the Theta House at the University of Washington. There was the Theta House, the Fiji House, the Gamma Phi House. They affectionately call that Greek Row. And it's sororities and fraternities on both sides. So we're right there. I mean, you walked out in the front steps, you could see across the street the entrance to the campus. We walked on campus every day, right from the sorority, and um, had a great group of people that we were around all the time. Everything was possible. It was a Saturday night, and my parents came up from Utah. The tradition in the Mormon faith is that when you're eight years old, you get baptized, and so I was going to to have my daughter Molly baptized, and my dad was gonna do the baptism. And so we went out to dinner the night before, and Ted treated us all to pizza. He was in a big hurry to go after we were done with pizza. The next day, he didn't show up. We completely missed the baptism. It was probably two hours late. And after it was all done, he showed up at the church. And he, he, I forget what he said was the excuse to car trouble or something like that. I was mad because he was making me look bad in front of my parents. But, you know, we never in our wildest dreams thought he was out abducting people. The information that has come to us explained that she had disappeared on, on the early part of uh, June 1st. I wasn't aware that Brenda Ball had been abducted that night until many years later. You know, she was seen talking to a man with a cast on his arm, but the police didn't connect it together with the other abductions that went on in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. 